claim to be the creator, but I'm a savior. I take the strange parables of human life and make something out of a crazy quilt that saves hundreds of lives. Mm-hmm. Happy Sunday fun day, everybody. Welcome to another digital release review. Uh, as always, I gotta warn you, there are mild spoilers for these reviews. Uh, this week, I'm going to be reviewing the Book of Clarence. Um, going into this movie, I guess I thought it was going to be some kind of retelling of Jesus' life, you know, from someone else's point of view, or maybe some kind of parody, but it was completely not what I expected it to be. It's just a, a different type of story. Um, the story is about Clarence, who is played by Lakeith Stanfield, uh, CJ Sile or RJ Siler, sorry about that, plays Elijah. He's his sidekick, and another sidekick he has is Omar Sai, and he plays uh, Barbaras. Barbaras, I think that's the name, uh, the Bible's name. Uh, yes, there are a lot of characters from the biblical story of Jesus in this uh, movie, and that's because Clarence's story takes place at the same time as Jesus' ministry does. So Jesus is in this movie, but well, I'm going to touch on that a little bit later. The Keith Stanfield, um, he's amazing. He is amazing, and I've always thought he was. He's a phenomenal actor. I loved him in Judas and the Black Messiah, and he had a really small role in Get Out, but just in that small little part that he did, I mean, he shined like, like a bright star. He, this guy is really good at anything he does. He actually plays two people in this. He plays Clarence, which is the main character of the story, and his twin brother Thomas, which is actually the biblical Thomas in this movie. Doubting Thomas. Uh, Clarence is basically a hustler. You know, he does whatever he can to make a quick buck. Um, but he's also taking care of his mother, uh, and you know, because she's, you know, his older mother and she's dying. So he's also taking care of her. And he also bears some kind of resentment towards his twin brother, Thomas, because Thomas is off uh, being a disciple of Jesus. And so he, he kind of, you know, despises his brother because he said, you're not taking care of mom. Uh, but at the same time, this guy's doing illegal stuff to make money instead of going and getting a regular job like a normal person. So yeah, there is that side to it. Uh, the main idea of this is that um, he gets this crazy idea that he should be pretend to be a messiah just the way Jesus is so that he can make money and get money from people. And it starts working for him. They start making money and he's playing tricks on people and, and performing miracles and people are throwing money at him. Uh, the main thing about this character is that he is an unbeliever. He has no faith in God. He doesn't believe in God or Christ. He doesn't believe in the Messiah. That's what people are talking about throughout the movie. Oh, the Messiah is here in, in Christ. He doesn't believe in it. He doesn't believe in God. Um, eventually, God ends up punishing him uh, for pretending to be Jesus. And I'm not going to spoil how he does it, but it's a, it's a pretty uh, crazy scene and it's kind of funny. Uh, like I said, Jesus is in this movie. And a lot of characters in the biblical story of Jesus are in this movie. Um, the Virgin Mary is played by Alfre Woodward. Uh, she's amazing in this. Uh, she's amazing in every fucking movie she's ever done. Uh, we also have Mary Magdalene. She's played by Tayona Taylor. Very beautiful woman. And, and, and this is a cool uh, Mary Magdalene, you know, little scene in here. Uh, and then Jesus, of course, is portrayed by Nicholas Pinnock. I uh, hope I say that right. Uh, yeah, Jesus' story basically is taking place simultaneously along with Clarence's story. But this is Clarence's movie. So Jesus is not, you know, a big character in this. He's basically like a, more of a cameo or a side character. But his story is happening at the same time as, as Clarence's story. So you'll see some of the things in the Bible in this as well. Um, I don't want to go get much into it. But yeah, G like I said, Jesus is in the movie, but it's not. he's not a huge character in it. It's, it's just hear people talking about him. You see him in a few scenes and whatnot. Um, James McAvoy is in this. And McAvoy plays Pontius Pilate. And uh, we also have a cameo, sort of, of Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays a beggar who, after getting cleaned up, he starts resembling the modern day image of Jesus. And the joke of the movie is that during his crucifixion, someone is painting and says, Well, I think this is what the Messiah everyone's talking about should look like, like this man. Uh, so that's kind of funny. Um, it, it's, I don't know, some people might say this is a comedy. I don't know if I would consider this a comedy because there are some dramatic elements to it. Um, you know, Clarence's story about, you know, being faithless and whatnot plays a big part in the story. Um, he's also in love with this girl who is the sister of a man who wants him dead because uh, he owes him money. 
And, uh, you know, he ends up gaining faith throughout the movie. You know, at the end of the movie, because obviously you saw what I showed you, he's getting crucified as well. Uh, but he gets, he gains faith. I won't tell you the, the real ending of the movie because uh, that wasn't the ending but he does gain his faith in god and believes and at the, in the very end and he does go from being a piece of shit to actually being a good person he ends up uh all the money he made from tricking people and pretending to be a messiah he actually uses that money to free a bunch of actual slaves um so you know he does change his ways in the end and and you know, took the ultimate sacrifice just like the lord and savior um this movie sometimes reminds me of life of brian but it doesn't go fully comedic. It doesn't go full into all-out comedy. This, I don't think this is a comedy. I think it's a, a movie that has some dramatic elements in it with some comedy sprinkled along there because it is, you know, kind of telling you this is why this was written in the Bible, sort of, uh, or their reasoning why it was written in the Bible. Um, but it, it does have serious tones to it when it comes to his mother, uh, when it comes to Mary, some Mary Magdalene, and, and even when Jesus is there, uh, some of the scenes that you know that they show where he's in it, they show the Last Supper and whatnot. There's some serious elements to it as well, and there is, believe it or not, there is some of this racial woke stuff people are gonna call about, or they're gonna call it or whatnot. But you know, there is some stuff sprinkled in there about blacks being oppressed and, and by by the white man, which are the Romans, uh, and whatnot. It is mostly an African American black uh, cast. Uh, they all are amazing in, in, in this. Every single actor in this. There's a lot more actors. Uh, I don't want to spoil it because uh, it's too many, too many to go over. I just kind of went over the main ones and the ones people are going to talk about. So, um, did I enjoy this movie? Fuck yeah! I, <laughs> I I really didn't expect to enjoy it. I didn't know what I was getting into. But it surpassed what I assumed it was going to be. It's funny. It's dramatic at times. It's uh, everybody in the whole cast is amazing. It's got a badass fucking soundtrack. To me, I love the soundtrack. Um, and I, in no way do I feel or think that they made fun of Jesus. Uh, I don't think he was mocked in any way. Uh, the way I saw it, it's just a story about a man who has no faith. And it takes place alongside the events of the crucifixion of Jesus. Um, and, you know, and through the process, he also gains faith. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I highly recommend this. It's not a bad movie and it's entertaining. I loved it. I loved it. Um, I love the soundtrack. Like I said, it's amazing. Uh, I'm going to try to download it. Um, go watch this, you know, go watch this. It's a good fucking movie. Um, y'all have a good Sunday fun day. Stay safe. Don't drink too much because uh, Monday you got to work again. And uh, I'll catch you Friday night for the live broadcast.